What's going on YouTube? Geofton right here. Today I have more great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 15 jailbreak. It looks like Coolstar and their team are working on the Torin 15 jailbreak, which will be updated soon. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare for the Dig, which is basically a software that allows you to do data recovery, scan for lost or deleted files, and of course it supports both Windows and Mac OS. You can easily find deleted photos from USB flash drives, hard disks, memory cards, and so on. The program is available for both Windows and Mac OS and it supports a variety of recovery options for various reasons. There is also a 30% coupon that you can get from the description down below. So the Torin jailbreak, yes, the Torin jailbreak which currently works on 14.3 and lower all the way down to 14.0 will be updated and has been announced to be updated very soon. And of course this is going to be updated with Binary Boys Exploit, Desk Race and of course the many other versions that were released by Teamstar and Jake James for various other devices. Because as it is right now, this one by Binary Boy available on GitHub, this one only works on the devices with 4 gigs of RAM. But Teamstar updated it to work with the devices with 6 gigs of RAM, which are the newer ones, and of course Jake James updated it for the lower devices. Coolstar has, however, announced this in their Cilio Discord. Quote, basically my plans for Torium 15 are like this. A8 through A11 will eventually support all iOS 15 versions. For the A12 and newer, iOS 15 15.0 to 15.1.1. They also mentioned that Torin 15 is going to be their last jailbreak though. Now there's also some more information available here on their Discord. So if you aren't part of the Cilio Discord, you can definitely join. Back a few days ago, they announced this. Here's the status. On iOS 15, A9 through A11 are unaffected by any changes aside from the jailbreak being rootless. So this means they can basically take that exploit that was released and the jailbreak will be updated very easily on those devices. So basically those include the iPhone 10 and lower. Those are unaffected and the jailbreak will come soon for them. For the A12 Plus devices, the A12 Plus basically means anything newer than the iPhone XS, XR, XS Max and so on, including those. For those on iOS 15.0 to 15.1.1, we will need a sandbox escape, but everything else should be good otherwise. For the A12 devices, but on 15.2 and newer, those are complicated. Coolstar says in here, quote, consider set UID completely dead on these firmware. Jailbreak will need a user land bug to get code execution as root at minimum, sudo, cilio, etc. will be broken and will need to be updated even if the jailbreak can be done. They also said that they are working on the sandbox escape for 15.0 to 15.1.1 and that the jailbreak doesn't look quite dead yet. So yes, what they are announcing here is that for many of the older devices the jailbreak is basically just going to be rootless but otherwise completely unaffected. For the newer devices like the iPhone XS, XR, XS Max, 11, 12 and so on, one. The iOS 15.0 to 15.1.1 will be fully supported, even though rootless like the previous ones, but for iOS 15.2 and newer, on A12 and newer, things will be complicated. So yes, Torin jailbreak will be updated quite soon, and it will support at least all the way up to iOS 15.1.1. The 15.2 beta one will likely be supported as well, especially on the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 7 Plus and so on, but for the newer devices like the iPhone XS Max and newer, 11, 12 and so on, those will be a little bit problematic after 15.2. So it's best not to update after 15.2 at this point and if you're running 14 point something, definitely stay there, it's a much better idea. So yeah, that's basically it, thank you for watching, it looks like Torin jailbreak is coming soon and it is being updated with Binary Boy and of course Tim Star's fork of the exploit. Till the next time, definitely check out for the dig Mac data recovery and Windows data recovery if you need to recover any deleted or lost data. The program can recover photos, videos, audio, emails, documents and archives with ease. You can perform a scan and it's going to show you all the folders and files that have been detected. That's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.